Hey, what is up, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Bob, aka Pamloon, and today I am back with a, another gameplay commentary. Today we're going to be talking about the Henri IV or the Henry IV, and the way I like to play this ship pretty much. This is called the Lighthouse Build. The Lighthouse Build pretty much means you take the Legendary mod, and in my case, when I think of a Lighthouse Build, I think of something that sacrifices everything for speed maneuverability and firepower the legendary mod here on henry decreases your reload in, but instead it gives you a ton of surface detection so you can see if you look at the map my surface detection is very far uh, i'm gonna be spotted quickly but you can also see i'm going 39 knots that is because i put the speed mod in this thing i actually sacrificed quite a lot for speed and um I think that is one of the key components to playing a lighthouse build. You need to have speed and maneuverability because if you cannot go undetected very easily, you need to be fast and hard to hit. So you can see we're, we're keeping up with the DDs here on the right side. We have a Shimakaze. We're following this guy pretty good. And we see this Iowa bot spotting, spotted here on the right side of us. But we're not going to shoot at him. We want to we'll stay undetected for as long as possible. I'm ultimately hoping to meet maybe the Smolensk or someone, someone who's lightly armored close here. But we're gonna stop, we're not gonna move further as we get detected. So we know somebody is spotting us and look who it is guys, it is the good old Smolensk. I'm not gonna use my rapid reload here because he's gonna get behind the island. But this is where the Henry becomes very fun because you have a speed boost and when you're running speed mod like I am, well, you can reposition very, very fast. Even in a turn we are averaging 39 knots, barely 39, I'm gonna round that up. But as we reach, you know, maximum speed, it's going to get up to around 43 knots here. We're going to take some torpedoes from the Smolensk. Pretty cheeky done there by Phil. Uh, I, I respect it. But this is probably going to be dangerous for him. Because as soon as I activate my rapid reload, he is going to take so much damage. But we did see the gearing. Playing Lighthouse Henry is all about going all in. And you can see how easy it is for me to change course and speed. We're just gonna escape this pretty much and this death trap here with torpedoes is not going to be a problem because well it's a gearing and the torpedoes aren't the fastest in the world especially not when fighting a henry so hms splooge here splodge or whatever his name is is gonna not hit us with the torpedoes and we're gonna again reposition this is the name of the game where you're playing henry lighthouse build we somehow get shot from the side and the iowa bot is not dead yet but i'm actually just gonna ignore him i i don't care for, for this Iowa. I hope my team is going to want the kill and luckily they do want the kill because I am interested in this Smolensk. I know he's going to send torpedoes so we have to stop here and turn parallel to the island. We don't want to come out with our no nose first especially not with a speed boost active. We want to entice this Smolensk and the gearing to come shoot at us. We, we definitely don't want to be running into the trap because that's an easy bait. So I'm going to send my torps in case he wants to push out. And there we go. That's his smoke. So we know where he is, but the island takes all our shells. And now we're stuck in kind of a weird position because we have to actually turn broadside while there's two battleships. One of them being a bot, yes. But there is a player battleship right there. And if he is smart and fast, he can take very, very good advantage of my gamer turn here. My full broadside gamer turn. We know Smolensk is looking at us, probably, or it's the Azumo, I don't know, but someone's looking at us. Two people now. And now this Smolensk here is in trouble, because he's stuck here at sea, and his battleships are not going to be able to help him. We have a Minotaur who's coming to chase us as well. But this Gearing and this Smolensk are in big, big trouble. Our whole team, or four people at least, are trying to hold this sea point, and we pretty much just have to flush them out. And here he is. Hello, Mr. Phil. Hello, Smolensk. Activating rapid reload and you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna sail straight ahead and then ignore his torpedoes because we can outrun them. We get a citadel on him and yeah, there they are, there's torpedoes, but they're too slow. <laughs> they're simply too slow, so we're just gonna outrun them. We still have our rapid reload for one more salvo and we do get some hits, but I mean it's overpens with 240 millimeters at this range. So we're just finishing this gearing off here, I'm pretty sure, and well, bye-bye, there he goes. HMS Splooge Splodge is, is down. So now we have this Iowa bot. Um, that was There were two bots in this game, I'm pretty sure. Two bot BBs. But this, this Iowa bot was too annoying. The way he turned the second I shot, I was like, nope, 
I'm I'm changing my uh, my target. I do not care about a a bot. I would rather shoot this Asumo because I can tell you something right now. In a one v one Asumo versus Henry, Henry wins every day. The amount of damage you can do on an Asumo with the, these guns is quite magnificent, and you're gonna see some pretty devastating salvos on this guy. But now we have this Iowa pushing in, and I actually really have to take care of him. Yeah, there we go. That's a Citadel. And I still have one rapid reload left, but I then notice that I have some DDs trying to torp this guy. I don't know if they're going to be successful. Yeah, they, they do hit. So we don't have to take care of that Iowa. It was impressive how long those BBs were just left alone. I think everyone just, ex you know, accepted that somebody else is going to take that kill. I'm just going to focus on the players, which is actually pretty clever. But if you are unaware of a, you know, a stray Des Moines bot or, a you know, a stray... What could we? Oh, Yamato bot, man. That thing with the HE sucks. You need, you do need to be careful of them. They can still smack you, especially if you're in a destroyer. But now we're going to activate our rapid reload because Izumo is just, he's not even looking and we have island cover. He can't even see us. So rapid reload up, the last one we use, and this one is going to be the finisher for this Izumo. He is out of the game, donezo. So... We don't kill him with that, but I'm pretty sure my torpedoes will get him. So I swap over to Minotaur here because he's in a, quite the pickle. So we're going to help our sh teammates by shooting this Minnow because he's a bigger threat to my DD. And there we go. That's the Izumo. Big caliber. Three torpedo hits. Sometimes, guys, you just got to believe in yourself. You just got to believe in the gamer intuition. <laughs> he was probably just going to go straight ahead, that Izumo. That is why I counted on my torpedoes to kill the, 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 the ship. But Minotaur gets my set 46, but honestly, this guy, I don't know why he moved out of his smoke. He is probably going to die for that reason, because I'm still over full health. And yeah, that is what a Henry does to a Minotaur. Very devastating. But now we're in a dangerous position, because we're full broadside to a Slava, so I instantly stop, turn, and then start going forward again, turning in. That is probably going to help us dodge some of his shells, and yes, in fact, it does. And Slava, well... I'm going to be inclined to say Henry versus Slava. I think Henry wins a lot of the time. If it has rapid reload, that's for sure. But the game is going to be over anyways. We barely won that by killing ships. But um, GG, well played, 115k. And just an overall really fun build that I highly recommend you guys check out. Lighthouse build Henry is the way to play it, if you ask me. Alright, so here we are with the build, and like I said, I would say you should take Advanced Engine if you want to go Lighthouse, not the Elite Gun Operator. Obviously, the Elite Gun Operator is great, but the speed you get with the Advanced Engine is fun. You want surface detection in your camo, so that's why I love the historical camo, it gives that. And here we have the, the, the creme de la creme. This is what makes it a Lighthouse build. You get 12% surface detection, but minus 10% reload. And I run rudder and speed mod, not propulsion, because you're not going to be stopping in this thing realistically. And I'm actually going to advise you to take surface detection here just for a little bit of help. Just a tiny bit, but you could take health instead. Now for Abonyo, the obvious greatest commander for this, you could take armament ex repair expert. I don't, because I don't have a sonar, and when I'm going that fast, I like to be able to spot torpedoes a little further out. I do take Daredevil Plus over Fire Supremacy, actually, because... I like being able to turn in a pinch, like in a, the last brawl of the game, being able to get all my torpedoes off and dodge stuff. That's why I take Daredevil Plus. Then we have Engine Overload Plus. We, this is the good stuff with Abonyo. You get the Master Reloader Plus and APCS Plus. This is going to work on every French ship. Uh, Kleber, Republique, the whole shebang. This is an amazing commander for those ships. And if you get him, you can put it on whatever you want, man. As long as it has Rapid Reload and Engine Boost, you're good. So that is going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the first episode of our my team, uh, my tier list with Red and Mime. Uh, there's going to be another episode out soon, or maybe it's already out. I don't know. Like I said, I'm sitting in my room right now, pretending I'm. It's in the future. So future Bob is going to say, signing out. See you guys. Have a good one.